I like how that just zooms right in there. And you're able to see almost like a 360 view or a third person. What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and today well, today I'm not wearing one of my t-shirts. Uh, that's because I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff for the family, taking care of Karen. She's doing great, by the way. She came home Monday. I know I haven't done many videos, uh, but that's the reason why I haven't done many videos. I've been taking care of her. Her family was down here uh, visiting her. She really can't do much. She's on bed rest. Well, not really bed rest, but she's on like rest. She really can't lift anything, so. But during one of her naps, and yes, one of her naps, so that's part of her recovery, I was watching the Autonomy Day video where they showed the clip of the car driving itself. And I wanted to show you a couple things that I noticed. I slowed it down because they have it on time-lapse and you know, you miss a lot in time-lapse. I slowed it down to see some of the things that everyone, I think a lot of people missed. And uh, let me show you those. This is Final Cut Pro 10. This is what I use to edit the videos. Uh, and just to give you an idea of what you're looking at here, this down here is the timeline of what the video is. And this is uncut. Uh, well, it's kind of cut up a little bit because this is this part is slowed down. You're missing a lot of frames in time lapse. So I've slowed it down to 0.25. Uh, it is in 4K 60 frames per second, but that's what their their video was uh, on YouTube. So this this is what's playing from down here where this cursor is, but we're going to change some things up. We're gonna get rid of some things and we're gonna see the big picture, I guess. And I'm gonna kind of edit this as we go along. The video starts here and then the guy will take off to the stop sign. And right about here, uh, I, that's why I slow it down to 0.25. But here, I'm gonna pause it right here because you see this debris in the road. We don't know what that is. Uh, this could be, looks like, looks like a part of a construction cone. You know what? Let's zoom in a little bit. This is where we're going to do a little bit of editing here on the fly. We're going to zoom in to what we really need to see, what we want to see. We don't need to see the car. We know what the car looks like. We need to see what's out the windshield, the dirty windshield, <laughs> and the screen. And that's really what we care about. You see some debris in the road here, and then what looks to be like the base of an orange cone or part of a tire, half a tire, but it doesn't show on the road here. It does show right here, it shows the curb and what it sees, and even possibly this little area right here is this tire thinking that, th that the landscape comes around here. Uh, because this view here is not what we see now in our cars. This is zoomed in a little bit and we see what looks like a curb, uh, more so what the cameras are seeing in a, for the computer. Keep your eye right here. It's not going to see anything different. It's not going to notice anything different like it notices these lines. Notice these lines here for the crosswalk. And as we get to the next couple frames, you notice we're driving over those lines right now. It's showing up right here as those crosswalks. So it sees things on the road. It sees lines anyway. Uh, it's just not in this version, which is of course a beta. This is far from being publicly re uh, released, but it's kind of fun to look at what's going on and what their thought process is. So let's keep going. Don't notice anything different, but here's, here's kind of weird. This is a little different that you'll see later on in here where it shows up a little different. Uh, you see there's a, a stoplight here and there's three lines, three lanes, and it's gonna, it's, it knows it's turning left. So it's gonna get in the left lane, even though these, both of these lanes turn. As you see both lanes turn, it's gonna get behind the car. Cause I, the car, I think these cars are more comfortable being behind a car. And as you pull up, it comes to a stop, but it kind of zooms out. You notice that little move, almost like uh, almost like navigation is kind of zooming out. It knows that this is a street from GPS or satellite imagery. It knows that there's this is where it's going to end up going. It sees the car in front. I like that little zoom out feature. And there's a couple zoom features in this that is that are really pretty cool. Right at this moment, it actually changes to night vision, which is a little good because the reason we didn't see that stoplight, it was there. Keep your eye right here. It's hard to see in this because the, the image resolution isn't that good. But keep your eye right there. Once the ch screen changes, it's a red light. And you can see that red light uh, featured right here. Pretty cool. And see the latency on 
the changing of the light. So if you look right here, the light's red, but the light just turned green. You can see it just turned green and the next frame right away, it's on green already and starts to go. Again, there's some frames that we don't see there. So uh, we don't know the exact latency of it. Who knows if we're gonna get to see all this stuff on our screen, but it's pretty cool to see what, uh, what, these, what the engineers are seeing right now. This right here is what's really cool, and I think what's going to happen soon for auto lane change uh, or when you're changing lanes for blind spot detection. Take a look at the car right now. Uh, this right here is showing, is telling you that it's going to change lanes. It's, it wants to move over to this lane here. So this is letting you know on the screen, but watch what happens. We're going to go kind of slowly. It zooms out. There's a blue lane, and that's where it wants to go to. Instead of just being a, a centered line, it shows a ghost image of where you want to go and zooms out to let you know if there's anybody in your blind spot. And then you start moving over to that uh, spot. And then the line goes to a thin line. Pretty slick. And then zooms right back in. It's almost like the navigation where the adaptive uh, navigation as you're driving up to a turn or to an intersection there, it zooms out, zooms in really intuitive this is really really nice and these guys have really thought this through really nice i like how that just zooms right in there you're able to see almost like a 360 view or a third person view of what's around you really cool this is the entrance onto the highway you can see all the squiggly lines where it sees the road and it also sees the dirt we probably won't see that part uh, in in the final version it'll probably be cleaned up and one thing I just noticed here, right down here, you have a camera, you have charging, you have microphone, and then you have a steering wheel. This is probably how you're going to engage where you press that and that takes you to this view or uh, full self-driving. Kind of funky, there's four of them here that there's there's not in our cars. And if, if you see any weird stuff that I don't, uh, put a time stamp uh, down there and we can talk about it in the comments down below. So as we're driving, it wants to merge onto the highway. Again, it's letting you know that it's going to change lanes and it's going to merge into this blue area because that's where it knows it wants to go to. And it zooms out to see if there's any cars. And you notice we're going faster and it zoomed out farther so you can see better. So we're going 66 miles an hour. Can't really tell what the speed is here. It zooms out even farther so you can see a little bit more. See how the car gets uh, smaller and then moves back in. And then now we're basically just on navigate on autopilot. It's just, this is what we have now. There's really no change to it. And then this is pretty cool how it zooms back out again as you're merging onto the highway. Uh, why is there a red line there? Why did the red line show up? Ah. It looked like it was crossing that solid line at first, and then it turns to a dotted line, so the red line ran, went away pretty quickly. So it knows it can't cross solid lines. Pretty good that it's going to obey the laws, so you're not gonna, your car's not gonna get a ticket with you not in it. This is part of that where it's, it's predicting the line around when it can't see. You see how, can't point with my finger, stupid. You see how this line curves around this way, but it really can't see. I, mean, I guess it can see those lights because the camera is here. Kind of cool. I wish they wouldn't have put this in time lapse. Would have been a lot better. Stop sign shows up. Now back there, soon as the, the miles per hour here go off, a stop sign shows up. It kind of like in that ghosted image. And then all of a sudden it pops up on red. Uh, but that was a little funky turn there. Why did it do that? So, oh, that's a little weird. Oh, it had to go across the road. I see. There was, uh, see this median here? It crossed the road a little bit. It had to go at an angle to go around. Interesting. It was able to maneuver around that. That's pretty cool. I thought it stopped at right here. And then it wanted to go this way to see better. But no, it, it had to cross the road a little bit. And once we get going under the bridge here, this is more city, city driving, which is really what we're interested in. We already know what it does on the highway. And it's going to change lanes just like before. I, th I think that 
that graphic is so slick on the screen how it does that it knows you you know you're going there it's big blue oh it's changing lanes it's changing two lanes in a row that's pretty cool changed two lanes and then kept going nice and we're coming up his hill and there's a light up here and it sees that the light is green when it first sees a light actually it sees this light might be red but as we come up to it it knows it's green and continues to go it doesn't even hit the brake at all should be the same thing with this although we're turning here we get into the turning lane it shows the light that's green and look at that it zooms way out so you can see look at the whole intersection there again i don't think we're going to see all this gray over here uh, this is just for the engineers nothing different although it shows a red light and there's no there's no light here I wonder if it saw the stop sign and thought that was a light then it comes to a complete stop or did it yeah, i guess it did come to a complete stop here comes another stop sign and it zooms out a way big bird's eye view that's really cool uh, it knows we're turning. I think that's why it zoomed way out. And we're at the stop sign. We're turning this way. And then it zooms right back in. Nice and tight. I like this. I like this new view. I mean, I don't like the gray stuff on the side, but I like seeing all the other detail. Again, stop sign. Uh, that stop sign didn't show up on screen. You notice that? It came to a stop, but there's no stop sign there. I wonder why. Is this a private drive? No, it's not a private road. So that's weird that it didn't show the stop sign, but it stopped for it, thankfully. <laughs> and it's, ooh, it's changing lanes into a double a double changing lane road or um, a turning lane, I guess. Uh, we, we used to call these suicide lanes because both people can turn into them. Hence the two arrows there. And it looks like it's turning into the Tesla headquarters here. And a stop sign. Is there a stop? Yep, there is a stop sign there. And it says stop. It puts itself in park. And it looks like you're going to open the charging door, the trunk, because it says something there. We can't see that. The green light, so it must be that it's ended. And it's in park right now. He unbuckles his seatbelt, opens the door, gets out, and then does it just turn off? It just turns off. It doesn't park itself. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't take off and go park itself. Like that other video, it, it dropped the guy off. It made a right turn here, dropped the guy off at the front door, and then went to go park itself. That was the crazy part of that video. Very cool. I think it's very. I think it's pretty polished for really being uh, two years out. You know, uh, they're obviously working on it, and there's going to be a lot of iterations to this. But I like I like the direction that they're heading, especially the the changing lanes. How it zooms out a little bit, and then you can see where you're going to to see if there's any cars in that area. So they're in their blind spot, coming up right up on you. As you get into that lane, it, it goes a wide blue lane down to that single lane, like we see in Navigate on autopilot right now. Uh, Again, that that drive was mostly navigated on autopilot on the highway, which we have now. So really the major things are what's coming for off the highway use, which is the 20% or that 10% case, uh, case scenario, where, which is the hardest part. You know, those tricky right turns, those weird signs, the, the traffic lights, the other cars around, and just the weird things that we have on the road the debris on the road in the very beginning. You know, all those things take time to write for. The video for the investors or the, the, the talk for the investors was very enlightening on how they actually go about this and how they do machine learning for the car. How is getting better and how they can just call images up. Tesla, you guys are you guys are killing it. You guys are way ahead of everyone in the autonomy race, I believe. I believe uh, Elon is correct that Tesla is the leading car company out there in innovating. And these cars are going to be full self-driving very, very soon. I mean, they kind of are at certain points. They are full self-driving. Uh, you just need to pay attention. That's why you need to be patient with these things. Uh, all the new drivers out there, be patient with the car. You need to understand how your autopilot works. This is not full self-driving. We are close, but you need to understand 
pay attention so you know when your car is possibly going to mess up and when you need to take over so we don't have major accidents like hitting a fire truck or hitting a parked car or something like that. Be vigilant and we will get to full self driving a lot quicker. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.